through the South and Midwest, the damage done and the cleanup ahead. And our GMA cover story, the rise in stimulant prescriptions during the pandemic. Who's getting them and the shortage going on right now? And then it's deals and steals, the great finds, all with free shipping, not April Fool's joke. Mm. Donald Trump indicted. Now, what happens next? What does that mean for the 2024 race? And Asa Hutchinson, will he or won't he run Sunday on ABC's This Week? I only have four seconds to tell you to watch Jeopardy. How'd I do? Good Saturday morning. It is a few minutes before 5 a.m. This is a live look from downtown Los Angeles. Let's go to Southern California's favorite forecaster, Tony Cabrera. <laughs> wow, that was pretty good. Thank you, Mark. Well, hey, today is going to be one of your favorite days uh, of April because it's April 1st. Oh, my goodness. March is over. Look at the view over Irvine, 50 degrees. We have most people under clear skies this morning. We were expecting some marine layer clouds in some areas, but uh, not the case. So we're going to have just clear skies all day long, and it's going to be really beautiful. 50 degrees there, uh, warmer, a little bit warmer compared to yesterday morning, 53 in Long Beach right now. And some places are still on that chilly or even cold side. You see Palmdale in the 30s, 38 degrees there. Big Bear 21, but yesterday it was colder than that, much colder than that. And then you can see Santa Clarita at 45, Hemet at 45 as well, 52 in Hawthorne, 40 in Redondo Beach. Now, as we look at our satellite view here, here's a low pressure system. This is uh, a little bit further south than expected, so that's why the marine layer clouds aren't here this morning, but marine layer clouds will make a return uh, tomorrow morning. We do have a ridge of high pressure that's gonna bring in these warm temperatures today, and then that will continue into tomorrow, but fade away quickly, unfortunately, because of a system that we have to the north of it. It's gonna bring snow to the Sierra. This is not an atmospheric river storm, so that's the best news out of all this, but watch as it comes down along with this cold front here. Monday morning, there is a chance of some shower activity across some areas of Southern California. This is a low chance about 10 to 20 percent chance but we have to throw that out there because rain <laughs> has been a normal thing this year but Monday night it does clear out so it's pretty much just a Monday event let's just call it some April showers that could be moving on through but today my goodness 72 in Riverside 71 in Irvine these temperatures you're really gonna love so pretty much a little bit below 70 a little bit above 70 degrees for most people 64 in Thousand Oaks though and 72 in Simi Valley seven day forecast for LA Orange County 70 today, 66 tomorrow, marine layer clouds, 20% showers, temperatures dip to 62, then they climb back up and look at Friday, 74 degrees with the help of some Santa Ana winds coming through. Valleys Inland Empire, sunny skies this weekend, temperatures dip to 61, those showers come through Monday, and then Tuesday and beyond, sunny skies, warm on Friday, 74 degrees. Beach areas, surf two to three feet, swells out of the west temperatures dip to 58 by monday then warm back up to 65 by friday so we just have uh, one day where it dips down low mountain area snow showers we're talking about a dusting of snow grapevine could have maybe an inch of snow though through this as it's uh, further to the north and then the deserts upper deserts 68 degrees to 69 tomorrow palm springs reaching 82 tomorrow and then dipping back down those high deserts to 50 degrees monday it's gonna be really windy too with that system Monday, but nothing compared to what we've seen, right? Yeah, we've been through a lot in the past few months or so. Tony, thank you. Now let's take a look at some of our headlines this morning. Powerful tornadoes continue to tear across the Midwest, causing massive destruction. The video just coming in. Heads up for drivers, the major freeway closure happening this weekend. The areas you'll need to avoid. And a wild scene caught on camera. Details in a woman's arrest after she stole a car and pinballed around a parking lot while the suspect couldn't control that car. Are. Live from ABC 7, this is Eyewitness News. Good Saturday morning. Now is 5 a.m. I'm Mark Cutterobles. And I'm Irene Cruz. And we begin this morning with a terrifying assault and carjacking. It happened at a local grocery store parking lot. Eyewitness News reporter Amy Powell has details and new video of the frightening attack. <laughs> 
danger and chaos in the parking lot of a Ralph store in Agora Hills. A 75-year-old woman putting groceries in her car when a suspect tries to snatch her purse. And the woman came up from behind her and grabbed, just grabbed her purse and knocked my mom to the ground. And immediately the woman stop her. Shoppers and bystanders screaming and yelling as the carjacker floors the The suspect nearly running over the owner of the car. My mom was laying on the ground right next to this, her own car as this woman was frantically trying to pull out. Her mother suffering only minor injuries.